true final boss. It's it's our victory. <laughs> See, I told you we, the golden and gorgeous duo, weren't gonna lose. Um, I doubt you two would have won that battle on your own. We helped you win, you know. That was a lot of trouble. Sure, true final bosses are a lot of trouble, I suppose. No, I'm talking about the lass's father for creating that thing. He created a final boss to destroy the human world. Does he hate humans as well? He was a weirdo to begin with, but I didn't think he wanted to destroy everyone. Maybe he just went crazy after Mom died. You don't know anything. You have no idea. You don't know a thing about your own father. His thoughts and motivation, nor the reason why he became one of the villains. What's your problem? Why are you yelling at me? You don't know anything. Just because you're his daughter, you expect that you can act however you want and still be loved. In comparison, Desco and I are only artificial beings. We'll never be his real daughters, no matter how much we want to be. So, what's your point? Shh, Miss Fuka. Just listen to what she has to say. She might just be... I can't be his real daughter. I knew that from the start. But I still envied you. I hated you so much. So I killed you to make you disappear from this world. But you still had the nerve to come back afterwards. You're still trying to have Daddy all to yourself. You... Really? Des X, Daddy is also Big Sis's daddy. It's sad, but we're... Shut up! Daddy is my daddy! He's mine and no one else's! Buka, Desko, and your stupid friends, you're all eyesores to me! Die! Huh? That's the reason you killed me? Screw you! Seriously! You really pissed me off now! Daddy, Daddy! I have no idea what you find so great about that stupid old man! I'm gonna beat you up and put an end to your fantasies! And here we go! On to part two of this fight! And yes, you do not get to heal up after it. So literally, here we go. It begins. It begins right here, right now. We're going to cause crazy amounts of havoc. And this is basically what I'm going to do is build me a triangle of warriors around this and then what we're done do we're done move Desco right there and then we're done move uh, it's my turn. Uh, uh what's her face uh Volcanus right there <clears throat> we're done move him there and we're going to move here Lilith right here okay so basically what we want to do and what I'm going to be doing is we're done move slowly forward to lure said character up, uh, down into this area and we're going to do what we did last time and wail on this character again uh, this time this character has 18,000 health so obviously what you want to do just sort of lure everyone this way and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put everyone in such a configuration where we're not going to get absolutely wrecked uh, coming up. And we're going to cause as much crazy havoc as possible. All right, so this can be really scary. So here we go, it begins. And that's 770 damage. And that's only 246, ow! Okay, you can stop countering now. <laughs> uh, that always scares the crap out of me. All right, so here we go. We are going to start wailing on Death X right here. All right, so 
basically my plan is to go after this character and beat this character in one attack cycle all right so here we go uh hmm want to use true godly weapon on you then we're to move him right here we're going to use uh the bloody hole and then what we'll do is i'll hopefully move her right here and we'll use a rip on you okay we'll move him over here and we're going to use ourselves a head splitter on you I actually I could probably use another rip can I I could probably do no 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 I don't want to do that want to I want to wreck this guy's base in the most diabolical way possible all right so next is I want to put him in such a spot where he just attacks and then we're going to use ourselves some good old-fashioned uh, zip shot and hopefully uh, we will kill uh, what's her face with this so hopefully this will kill uh, Mega Desco here in the worst possible way all right so there's 2,000 damage. I should have probably waited on that, but you know what? Crap happens. All right, here we go. True godly weapon. Let's see if we can get to 18,000 damage. That's 2,000. That's 4,000 actually. Here we go. Let's see if this can hit. All right. So here we go. Oh man, get stabbed, bitch! Get stabbed! And there we are. Another. 6,000. Holy crap! And now, oh my god. Oh, jeez. Oh! <laughs> 6,000. Oh, this could be ferocious. Alright, boom! Another set of freaking, uh, wow, look at how many attacks the chicken has. Holy crap. Holy moly, take that! There we go. That's what, 10,000 damage right now? Oh my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, this thing is not going to survive too long, I don't think. I hope not. Take that. Boom. 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 Take this. There we go. And didn't get any freaking attacks in. That's how you beat that easily. Just wail on it. <laughs> oh man. All right, so there we go. A thorny whip. Ooh. All right, skip demo, no. No, I don't want to skip the demo. What are you? You're just a human, a dead one to be exact. Where is all this power coming from? Buka. Damn! How did she power up like that? <laughs> it's no big deal. It's probably just an adrenaline rush or something. That's not important. I'm just really mad right now. You're mad? Please. There's no way I'll admit this defeat. <laughs> I still see the energy in her eyes. As expected from the true final boss. That's right. Until I kill every single one of you, I won't. I won't! Ah! Desex has begun to regenerate. I don't remember equipping her with that kind of function. This is amazing! You're amazing, Desex! Amazing? Do you even know why she's able to do this, Dad? No, not at all. You're so stupid, Dad! You might be a genius scientist, but you're the stupidest man ever! If you weren't like this, this wouldn't have happened! Desco wouldn't have been thrown out! I... I didn't have to die. So you finally admitted it. It's about time. Indeed, it's settled that you're a pretty. Shut up! That's not the point right now! I'm talking about Dad! After Mom died, you escaped into your work and left me all alone. 
You created Desco and Des X, but you ended up making them feel the same way I did. What are you doing, Dad? Don't you care about anything besides your research? Don't you ever think about our feelings? No, I... Big Sis, you don't understand? Daddy loves you. How can I believe that? Daddy talked about you all the time. Like how you wouldn't take baths with him anymore, how you treat his laundry like filthy objects, or how you stole money from him. Miss Desco, those are just simple complaints. Is there anything more heartwarming? Well, let me see. Oh, he bragged about how sweet you are at heart, even when you were in your rebellious stage in middle school. He still has the portrait of him that you drew when you were five. He even showed it to Desco. Daddy's favorite story of you was when you two went to a summer festival when you were only four years old. He had to look for you for hours because you got lost, but you had already gone home by yourself. But still, Daddy was so proud of you for that. He said that you were already an amazing child by the time you were four. Hmm. Not that I remember. Everything he does is for you, including his research. You're the only one who doesn't know that. No, you're lying. He focused on his research because he wanted to escape from everything after Mom died. That was what Mommy asked Daddy to do, to continue his research, to make your wish come true. My... wish? Uh-huh. Me, Desco, the demon clones, we were all created for you! That's how much Daddy loves you. No! That's not true! Des X is right, Big Sis. Daddy loves you. He loves you with all his heart. No way! I don't believe it! What's my wish anyway? I don't remember wanting this! You don't? Oh, you used to throw big tantrums about it, mm, pestering me and Mom all the time. You said you wanted a little sister. Oh, yeah. I did. But Mom died soon after that. Big sis. But, seriously, you remembered that from so long ago? And created these little sisters for me, Dad? That's right, Fuka. I created Desco and Desex just for you. Th th thanks Dad. The final weapons, Desco and Desex, were not created to destroy the human world after all. They were the fruition of a father's love for his daughter, to make her wish come true. All of the misunderstandings that had piled up were resolved, and the defeated Des X was finally released from her destiny to be the final boss of the human world. This battle, where a pretty girl and the kinship between her family members had saved the human world and netherworld, would lead to the improved printy treatment movement in the future, which eventually led to Prinny War II. However, not being aware of future events, Fuka and her father simply enjoyed the reunion. They embraced each other, reaffirming their feelings of love and happiness. Not! You mad scientist! Oh, why not? I worked really hard for this. Did you really think I'd be happy to have these freaking killing machines as my little sisters? What the hell were you thinking? But, but, you're the one who wanted this. You said, I want a little sister. With advanced functionality, who is gonna help me take over the world. <laughs> so, you were trying to become a final boss for Fuka's sake, Desko? Yes, all is for big sis. And you're going to take over the world with Miss Fuka as the final boss? Yes! Desco was created to help Big Sis take over the world! Hmm. Now I'm concerned. They're lying! They're totally making things up right now! I, I even have proof! Like the Christmas video <laughs> when you were five. No! This isn't... You're just all trying to trick me! Tesco has seen that too! <laughs> Big Sis was so cute! 
Now I see. I didn't think you were normal, but I had no idea you possessed such ambition. It's only natural that you fell to Hades. <laughs> this is quite amusing. This isn't funny! No, no way! This can't be real! This is a dream! I know it! This is a nightmare! Enough fooling around, bastards! The hell's this farce? Fight, Desex! One more time! Kill them all! Then all of humanity! No way. This is getting kind of boring. Plus, I'll only listen to Daddy. Why don't you do it yourself if you want it so badly? You... Who do you think funded your development, you useless puppet? <laughs> He's showing his true nature. This farce suits you rather well. Judge Nemo! Your ambitions have been crushed! Your Hades of destruction will never happen! <laughs> My ambitions have been crushed? <laughs> You've got it all wrong, Valvatores! I've been setting up devices everywhere to prepare for humanity's destruction for a long, long time! You guys have only awakened another dream! A nightmare of demolition! The destructive might of Hades! A nightmare of demolition! That's right. I'm lighting a giant firecracker. The big round moon is gonna go... Kaboom! An unbelievably shocking revelation is dropped on us after we suppressed a foolish rebellion in the human world. Is he really going to blow up the moon? The truth is! Did you know that various kinds of fish larvae are used in Chirimanjaco? I thought Chirimanjaco was the name of an actual fish. <laughs> and there's more. It's the same deal with Kamage Shirasu. Ah! I thought the same thing about Kamage Shirasu. That's right. Shirasu usually refers to any kind of fish larva, but the larva of Japanese anchovies are the most commonly eaten shirasu. Okay, so? Next time, final episode, the Sardine Galaxy. Space sardines conquer the sea of stars. It's another page in the history of sardines. I will stop the destruction of the moon. You're blowing up the moon? Are you serious? The moon? You mean, like the moon in the sky moon? Mm-hmm. The moon that orbits our planet. The moon is going to blow up? Oh, no! We won't be able to admire it anymore! You bastard! How could you go after the moon, of all things? So much hatred towards humans. Isn't there any way to stop him? Hey, wait. H how are you gonna do that? Shoot a nuclear missile up there? Who knows? I don't really know the details either. You don't know? Well, I thought you were orchestrating this. Unfortunately, no. I wish I could finish the job using the technology that the humans invented themselves. But the good doctor at Des X ended up being useless. So, I decided to go with Plan B. So, you're gonna blow up the moon using the technology outside of Earth? Aha! Uh -huh. You're gonna use angels this time, aren't you? Hmm. Desco senses the arrival of a new final boss. No matter what kind of power he's going to use, all life will be lost if the moon is destroyed. We can't let that happen. Yeah, this is serious. There are gonna be meteors falling from the sky, like in those disaster movies. Multiple tsunamis due to irregular tides and other abnormal phenomena from changes in our rotational energy. There won't be any chance for human survival. Oops. And the fear energy will be gone, along with the humans. So no more netherworld either. You sound like you're enjoying this. You're going to die, too, if that happens! Die? Hmm. I wonder if I really will. What do you mean by that? Don't you have a plan to survive your own disaster? I don't know. I might, or I might not. 
Please, stop this! You've done enough! You're not going to please anyone by doing this! Huh? He's totally ignoring her. So he really can't hear the voice of an angel. Judge Nemo, I'll take this as a challenge. You've intentionally revealed your plan in the hopes that we'll stop you. Yep, that's exactly why I told you. Will you accept my challenge, Valva Torres? Do I have a choice? So this is the kind of deal you struck with the president, eh? <laughs> you think it's unfair? No! If this is how you try to get what you want, then do as you wish. I'll crush every attempt you make, and then I'll crush that grinning face! Ooh, nice. That makes me want to see your face contorted with pain. Sounds like we're running out of time. Let's go, everyone! Um, are we really going... Indeed! We are going to the moon! Final episode! The final battle! The moon, Earth, and the promise! I'll see you guys next time for some more fun in action with me, the Sample Man. Peace!